All right, welcome everyone. This is the Viper Professional Training and Support Webinar. Today's date is February 6, 2017. This is a Monday night webinar, and the title of tonight's webinar is Trading with the Power Meter Type Trades. And as everyone knows that's been to our webinars or our live trading room, everything that we say and do at Viper Trading Systems is for educational purposes only. Futures trading, Forex trading, any kind of financial instruments trading involves risk. Therefore, there's always risk of loss. You should only trade discretionary capital, and that is money that you can afford to lose. Nothing said in this webinar. Other webinars we might have, our live trading room, or anything else with Viper Trading Systems should never be construed as trading or investment advice. And as always, everyone does trade at their own sole discretion. Any questions on the disclaimer? All right, I don't see any, so if not, we'll go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and flip the questions so they'll go in uh, the right order for me to see them. Okay, I got it. And let's go ahead and show. Y'all know that I don't trade NQ very often to begin with, but I was watching uh, the PM trader today, uh, you know, when all that chop was going on. And I was actually pretty impressed with it because, you know, when, when it just whips around like that, gosh, you get, you know, five ticks here, seven ticks here, five ticks here. It's just junk unless you just stay out of it. And uh, what I want to show tonight, I want to show first off the new object trader that's got the PM type trade in it. I haven't decided exactly what to call those trades. It is called the power meter, so I guess we'll just continue calling it the power meter trade. Okay. Now, when you get your new um, object trader with the new power meter trades and everything, we have added a couple of little things to it. Right up here, you do have an alert. And you can choose your colors. I think I went over that in the last webinar, but it's good to go over it again. Because you can choose the colors that you want the alternating colors to be. If you don't want it to alternate, then just change them to the same color. But keep in mind that it's just going to show text up there. You know, alternating back and forth kind of alerts you to the fact that you're in auto mode. Okay, because you can put this in full auto if you want to. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Because we've also added something else down here. This was just done over the weekend. Uh, we have a new feature on here that's called uh, Auto Disable on Reverse. Now, this is probably going to come to you uh, defaulted as true because that way, you know, you get a trade, it reverses, it'll turn the reverse off. You know, in other words, you get two trades. You can choose to leave it on by simply saying Auto Disable on Reverse to False. Okay. And that's what I did this morning with uh, NQ, just testing this little thing out, okay? And uh, some trades and everything, too. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go into replay mode, just like we do on uh, Monday nights. So we'll put it on the, the chart. Now, you've got something else here, too. And if you haven't been to the webinar lately, you'll notice that if you're in region mode, ray mode, sniper or time trade, this is blocked out. You cannot go into auto mode. You cannot turn it on. See how you can't click that little check mark there? But if you're in PM or bar close or PM2, you can. You simply go to PM1. See how that goes to black now? Now I can actually choose to go full auto, turn that on. See this will flash. I can turn this on right here. We're already long, so one thing you don't want to do when you first start the auto trader is you don't want it to accidentally fire a trade just because it's just thinking that you just started the chart. We're green up here, so we're only looking for either a short or I'm going to hit a market if it happens to take out this little swing, because if we do, we'll come up, come up to here. Okay, so I'm going to use it auto or I'm going to click it manual, and then, then we'll go to full auto, and I'm going to see what this thing will do. All right, so with uh, NQ, you know, usually, like oil to give an example, a couple of contracts on oil is, you know, $20 a tick, and in NQ it would also be $20 a tick. Okay, so now one thing that I would suggest on this too, if, if you do decide to do something like this, keep an eye on how many trades Okay, because at four contracts, if it flips very often, you're going to have, you know, some pretty good commissions racking up, right? Okay, and we're going to start this out, and we're going to look at it and see 
what it'll actually end up doing. Now this is actually just in replay mode. There's no trades on so, so far. Okay, so we have nothing to look at as far as total trades or anything like that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, start this uh, thing up and we'll see if we get a trade. And like I said, I'm going to manually click it if it takes out this top. Okay, because I don't know for sure if it's going to go up here and keep on trucking. But when this is in power meter green, you cannot get a long trade because it's already long. Okay, this is a condition change type of a trader. Okay, you have set target quantities differently and a 20 tick stop. Well, what I did, the stop is not as important to me because what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually flip it if it uh, goes the other direction. So my stop won't even come into play really. Okay, I did this this morning and, uh, you know, I've watched these charts for days and days and days and they seem to do quite well at this. So, okay, we're going to actually fire a trade. I'm going to draw a line right here. I'm going to fire a trade long if it breaks that, okay? But if this power meter goes short, then it's going to fire its own trade, and then we'll turn on the long and reverse and just let it do its thing. I want, I want to see what this will do, okay? You're, you're my guinea pig, so to speak, okay? And I've been testing this for quite a few days, and I've found that as whippy as four range bars are, this works pretty well, okay? Because what happens a lot of times, and this is a phantom too, by the way, isn't it? You know, it's it's a thrust down, you know, a phantom type trade, first time into phantom after a trend change. So who knows? We might go ahead and get a short, and we might get a long. I'll be ready to click four contracts if it breaks 56.50 right here, and we'll take off uh, obviously five, seven, and like even nine, like that. Okay. Now, you can even put it, you know, if you want to do like four contracts, you could even just go for five, seven, and seven if you want to. Anything you want to do, you know, just try to get some profit, you know, fairly quickly because that's the whole key to trading. And then, then allow a runner to run. You know, that's the whole idea of trading is trying to allow a runner to run. Okay. So we've been about seven minutes. So let's go ahead and kick this thing on and we're going to see what it's going to do. And remember, I'm going to fire it long automatically if it goes above that line with a close bar. If it closes down, it's going to short it, okay? Because what it's looking for is looking for the power meter one, which is just literally a little break of the lightning swing. Okay, let's see if we get something. I'm going to fire it manually if it takes this out. And I'm going to wait for it to close otherwise. Hopefully this isn't so slow. Well, we got our short. We definitely got our short, didn't we? Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and take your profits, if we can get it, that is. And I'm going to move this one out of the way. This is my runner. Okay, I'm just going to let it run. Your power meter is red. Okay, it looks like we got one so far. I don't know why that's saying, oh, I know why that's saying that. I've got uh, another chart going over here. Just one sec. I'm going to kill this one right here. And yeah, we'll, let, we'll let it run. We'll just let it run. It's, it's actually, I'd forgotten to turn the power meter off of this one right here. So that's, that's why we're uh, actually down just a little bit. I don't have it set just like this one, but we'll, we'll set it the same way. All right, let's see what we get here. All right, so we're, we're in a trade. I apologize for that other chart. I'd forgotten that I was playing around with that one on the PM meter. Looks like it's, uh, you know, heading up pretty nicely anyway, though. Okay, your chart was showing a trade when there wasn't one yet. That's because this actually one over here had fired. I had forgotten that I turned it on also. I'll show it to you real quick. I was playing around with like 6J even. See right here, that's why. So this one's going to flip also. So if, if it happens to flip, it just flips. 
Okay, so I'll leave that one going over there, and we'll just see if it works on another chart since it's uh, doing its thing. Now, when this one uh, shuts out, I'll go ahead and uh, turn it off because that way we won't. Uh, we'll be watching just one chart. I don't think it's fair to be watching two charts, do y'all? Because I flat forgot about that one being turned on. Okay, let's see. Where, where would this flip, by the way, if power meter? was to decide to go the other direction. Wouldn't it flip right in through there? If that happens to close up, it will. Now keep in mind that sometimes that can be good for you and sometimes it can be bad for you. Uh, we'll go ahead and turn all of it on since we're going to do the reversal and everything. I'm going to go ahead and kill this one over here since we're not watching it. This is more fair to be this way because we'll just watch the money on this chart only. Okay, we'll get our target out of the way. Now keep in mind that uh, this other one right over here that I was doing, sorry about that, this one that I was doing over here, I don't want to do two of them at one time because it will confuse this p and L. I I want everybody to see what this p and L will do. And if you want, I'll even start it over because I flat forgot about that one. But we just got, we got like $151 on that chart to the negative, but it is seeming to be heading up now, but I closed it out, to be fair. Need to set long and reverse. If you're going to use it like I'm talking about here, yes, you would. See, because what, what's the rule of thumb that charts do? Thrust, retrace, thrust, you know, is it trying to come down here? Is it trying to take out this swing? If it takes out this swing right here, it'll head back up and that'll reverse on us. Now keep in mind, you know that we would be profitable on this chart if it wasn't for that other one, but since we turned it on, that's not a biggie. SE is enabled, but the reason for that is, uh, Mindy, because in the full auto mode, this is actually going to look for a short after it goes long. Okay, in other words, it's looking both directions. Let's just see what it'll do. Is it going to flip or is it going to go in uh, reversing? We'll see. Oh, this one I turned on again. Doggone it, I forgot to turn it off. Uh, sorry about that. Okay. Now, notice that this one did flip. If this actually is, is a wrong trade and it doesn't work out, then guess what? It'll flip again. Working out pretty fair so far, though, isn't it? Not too shabby. We'll get our runner out of the way. Notice how by flipping that we went back with four contracts. Now we just got two again. Not too shabby, huh? Now where will it flip again if it happens to... Uh, Take it out. Closes below that, it'll flip on it. Didn't close below it yet. That's fine with me. See how this might actually work for you? Not too shabby of a way. Now, like I said, this other one, I, for, I actually forgot to turn off the longs and all that, so it's actually still firing some silly trades, but we'll just let do this finished trade and then it'll shut itself off. I forgot to turn off LE. That's one thing you're going to have to be careful with this auto trader. You, you have to remember to turn it off because it'll trade while you're going to the grocery store. Let's see what we get. Now, let me ask a quick question. That's actually pretty decent uh, 
P&L, isn't it, so far? That's not bad. Now, it's not like two and 3,000 and 7,000 and all that like, you know, uh, some of the people make. But what I'm trying to show here is something that, you know, where, where these things, you seem to get this nice thrust. And if you, you hold it, it just seems like all they want to do is take you back out and then go back down to, to support. And with this little trader here, it's going to stop that type of thing from happening. Because even though this background is green and everything, It'll still flip this trade if it happens to see the the situation to do it. Right now you got a high, you got a low, you got a lower high. Where would it flip it? It'd flip it right there. Wicked it, we're still okay. What do y'all think of it so far? It seems like it can be a, a little trader that can actually work. Now notice that that didn't flip this because you're actually it didn't pick this swing up here. It's picking this one up instead. If you're flipping from long to short on reversal, is the P&L neutralized by redundant? No, no, uh, Lee, you're actually going long, long or short. It's still showing your P&Ls and everything. You know, see your P&L right here. You're at 252 so far. You know, not much to write home about, but it's not too bad. I just wanted to mainly do this because I've been watching this for several days, and I want you to see it in real time. I don't trade this time of night, so I just wanted to turn it on and see if it would work. And if it hadn't worked, we'd have just gone, well, what, we're gonna, what you really want to do with it most of the time is you want to go ahead and look for these mid-band trades. You know, in other words, a nice thrust, a pullback in the mid-band, and then, you know, take off again. Okay? But this will keep you from catching a falling knife. Okay? Because have you noticed that there are three trends on your chart? Power meter one is lightning one. It's very, very quick. Now, if you find that P&L starts going down, you can always understand that you might be in some really chop where they're just trying to fake you. But I noticed even in that junk this morning on NQ, it was racking up points. Any big beginner could make uh, money with this, absolutely. Because what it's doing is the, the way we teach to trade, except that we're actually reversing if it happens to take out our little swing. Not a bad trade, huh? 240. Now, notice my stop's way down here. I don't care about the stop, although in your real account, you'll probably want to, you know, do it like we teach anyway. But if this was to happen to come down, pull back up, and then roll over, it'll flip that to a red, and this will short four contracts. And that's if it happens. Right now, we don't know what's going to happen. We're going to see what's going to happen. I'm going to get this out of the way. Not too bad. How many times you've been up like this and you think, wow, this is going all the way up here? And, and it might, but how many times have you done it where it just barely takes out the high, then they pull back? You see what I mean? That happens all the time. And look at that. It's almost a double top. We'll see if it goes up. So far, it's hadn't hit the top yet. Frequently, no kidding, isn't it, Dennis? It, these markets just love to just whip around and, you know, just mind-numbing, stinking chop. That's all there is to it, just mind-numbing, stinking chop. But look at this right here to give an example. This would have taken a long here. It did, as a matter of fact. It would have taken a short here. It did, as a matter of fact. Is it getting ready to take another one? I don't know. If that power meter goes red, it will. Now, we're giving up a little bit of P&L, you notice there? 
we got, oh, I know, uh, that other chart's still going. I turned it off, though, so if it does take out our stop, we'll go ahead and just kill the trade. But right now, since it was already fired, I'm, I'm, I've left it on. See what it'll do with this one, too. I'll get this target out of the way, too. We'll just let it do its thing. Got two charts going with uh, power meter. Okay, now anybody know where this would probably hit its head if it doesn't go ahead and come up? Got a little swing right underneath here. Got another swing right under here. I don't like that one as much, obviously, because that's your lightning swing that's identified. This one's not identified yet. Let me speed it up a little bit. This is a little slow. We'll go about 25 times. Could you have hit close when the profit was higher? Absolutely you can. You can hit close anytime you want. I'm just letting this other one ride too, but I, I'm not giving it another trade. That way, whatever it does, it'll do. But I won't give it another trade so we can watch this one closer. Could be a little double top, we'll find out. Is this one being recorded? Absolutely. Masood on your, wow, look at our other trade. Just turn power meter on and let her go. Now I'm going to go ahead and protect this one with a stop because I don't have set to reverse. I'll just leave this one just going with our stop. We'll go with like line six. Okay. There we go. We just flipped. Is that a good flip? We don't know. We got two targets already though, didn't it? Three targets. Now, the one thing you're going to have to understand, though, when this meter says that it's trying to head down, this yellow bar probe might not work because both meters went red. Now, if it takes out this line right here, it'll flip it again. We'll see. Keep our runner running. So you can use power meter without, oh, you can use power meter without auto too, Mindy. Uh, what I was showing there is that you can do the full auto mode if you want to. But if you do it without the auto mode, I don't want to do this tonight's webinar because I want to see what this will do. But if you do it without it, you turn this off. And then when it gets into a trade, it'll disable all these. Because that way you're not going to get in another trade until you tell it to. Okay. But I, I want to see what this thing will do, uh, just full fettered auto, just see what it'll do till about, uh, I don't know, if we got time till about 10 o'clock in the morning would be good, wouldn't it? Not too shabby. You wouldn't have expected that short, would you? It might not for long. We'll find out. I'd say right through there is where it'll flip. How do you turn the auto trader on, MJ, on your question? You just simply turn on auto when it's in either PM mode, PM2, or bar close. I wouldn't recommend it on bar close, actually, though. I do it on PMs, those type trades. Now, we, whoa, look there. It held resistance. Not going to flip yet. Yeah, a lot of times, John, I'd miss it too because you think, wow, you got a green background, you know. Uh, what's this thing going to really do? Well, right now it's heading down.
no, how do you add it to your chart, MJ, on your question? Uh, you've got the trial right now, so you don't have this. Matter of fact, nobody has it yet. This is just strictly on, my, on mine, uh, but we will be getting it out pretty shortly. I'm going to try to get it out, John. Uh, I'm hoping uh, tomorrow because all I had to do is check a few things that he fixed, and those have been working perfectly. So just wanted to make sure there, there was a couple of little glitches that I didn't like, and the reverse was turning off even in auto mode, and I didn't like that. So I had him program it to where we can choose either direction. I was even uh, watching NQ this morning even, uh, I mean this afternoon. Oh, look at that. Sweetheart. Sweetheart, how about that? Now, by the way, do you realize you can also put in a max loss and a max profit? For instance, if I just wanted a thousand bucks, I could hit close, couldn't I? That's not a bad way to trade that, by the way. Is it through yet? We'll find out. Not yet. Notice my stop's just way up there out of the way because it'll flip it if it sees the opportunity to flip it. Just to be fair, this other one's going to town too, by the way. Not too shabby. Okay, so that's that's doing pretty well over there also. So that's part of that profit right there. Okay, where would this flip, everyone? If it happens to take that out, that's a higher low. We'll find out. Maybe, may not. Not yet. It would not reverse for a long time unless it makes a little lightning swing. Correct. Yeah, you don't want it to reverse until it, there you go, you just got your reversal. See that? Now, is that a good reversal? Oh, my goodness. I don't know. What do you think? What do you think? Lighting said it was. Now, that's a trade that even makes me nervous, truthfully. It really does. Because you think, oh, my gosh, this thing's gone down like crazy. But guess what? That's when they retrace, and that power meter will catch that. Not too shabby of a way to trade it, huh? May reverse again. It just did. Ooh, that's not good. I gave up a little. Oh, that's the open. No wonder. That's oil. Well, we just reversed, so I guess we're okay. Not too shabby so far. Now, let's see how many trades we've made, though, just real quick. It looks like we've made, uh, here's, let me, let me pause this just a second, and I'll show you something. Okay, we've made 18 trades, 94% profitable. Uh, looks like a long trade for 360, and uh, short trades, we drew down 220 and our 94% uh, and 100%. So that's not too shabby, right? So really 88.89, 100% for a total of 94.44% on those trades. Okay. Let's see if it holds that average with the chop in the morning. Because remember the chop we had? This is getting closer to when we got it. We'll see. We will see. Now, I'd probably, more than likely, that's pretty good, pretty good P&L, actually. What's type profit in the dollars for the, uh, 
Oh, that, that's just uh, where you can actually do all your summaries and different things like that. I don't even really use that thing there. I just thought I'd show it tonight so we could keep up with, you know, if we're overtrading or anything like that. Because it'd be pretty easy to overtrade this. You realize that, right? Are you seeing any of your questions? Let me see, Tom. Bear with me a second. Uh, where did you ask? Uh, I apologize for that. Have you been able to determine if PM1 or PM2 has better results? Well, if you look at Lightning 2, it's it's going to be too difficult, I think, to see. So you'd have to break that swing right there. You'd have to hold your stop to here. I kind of like the uh, PM1 myself. I apologize for not seeing that question. I'm trying to watch this little trader and, and also keep up and everything. Okay, our 6J is flat now. That's why we drew back a little bit was that 6J. I wasn't watching that. We could have flipped that one too. Nine sixty five. Does anybody remember in queue this morning what actually happened? About eight thirty, if I remember right, it kind of went up here, it came down here, it went up here, it came down here. It was just choppy, choppy mess. And those are the worst kind because you'll you know, you don't want to take any kind of a breakout trade, obviously. See what this does. We're going to find out what it does in the chop. How's that? Now, by the way, this isn't teaching I realize strategies and things like that, you know, like I normally do on, on my webinars. Uh, what I wanted to show you, though, was uh, something that I've been, you know, trying to get developed for a long time because I want to get some of these type of trades because you'd be surprised how quick you can make some decent money. Um, CG, I haven't tested it except on the four that we trade, but I've been, I mean, you look at any chart and you'll see lightning on your chart. You know, see right now lightning stepping up. If lightning rolls over and steps down, maybe we'll get something again. We'll find out. Yeah, it was it was literally all chopped until, gosh, probably, I don't remember exactly when it, I traded a little bit in the afternoon and it was just a slow then too, actually. Well, it's getting kind of slow. It's uh, eight. Oh, it's right before the open. This this is going to actually go fairly quickly because uh, your open is at eight thirty. Let's see what uh, power meter does. We got it on reverse and everything. See what we get. Well, David, on your question, you know the the one thing that I personally think. What I like really well about the, you know, we've talked about this type of trade in webinars for a long, long time. You know, stair steps down. Then what does it do? It stair steps back up. And, uh, okay, there we just went short. Let's see if it works. Now, this was that choppy stuff. Let's see what it does. Power meter said we're short below that swing. Pretty choppy, sloppy stuff. Uh, let's see, Pervez, let me see your question. Will it cancel the long when it flips? Uh, yes. Yes, as a matter of fact, see, it's short right now, and we're feeling a little bit of heat. This is the open of the market. Uh, will it actually uh, cancel the trade? Yes. Yeah, it'll totally cancel out. So it looks like we're going to get, yep, not quite, didn't get that other target. Look at there, it flipped. Will it be a good flip? We'll find out.
this was some choppy sloppy stuff right here. Uh, Mindy, on your question, no, what I'm just showing tonight is strictly, I just wanted everybody to see this new little trader uh, so you could see if it's something you'd like to use, you know, or if it's, uh, you know, it's up 11 something right now. It looks like it's, uh, see how choppy sloppy that was? I hated that stuff. Who doesn't hate this stuff? We'll see if that one works. You're welcome. Mindy says, uh, me too. I'm excited for this. I'm, you know, thank you for inventing it. it it's basically just the, the programming of it. Look, look at this, how sloppy this was. Sloppy choppy. When will it flip? It'll flip below those uh, candles. If it happens to get it, we'll see. There you go. Choppy, sloppy mess. No, have we got a runner? We'll find out. Let's get our runner out of the way. Anybody know where it'll flip right now if it happens to get the signal? Didn't get it. If it pops up there, it will. Didn't get it. Nope, got it. Got it. Let's get our runner out of the way. See, notice that all I'm doing is uh, using the uh, flipping of it. I'm not using the stop at all. Now, I'd probably about quit by now because that looks like pretty good P&L. So it does not stop you out at the stop. It will stop you out at the stop, but keep in mind, I got my stop way out of the way. I'm, I'm not wanting the stop. I'm wanting the flip. You know, for instance, if this thing goes up and uh, then rolls over and flips, look at that. That's not too shabby. Not too shabby. But just when you think your money's in the bank and everything, you think, wow, you know, that's awesome. I'm happy. Well, guess what? Lightning could reverse and go the other way, and it does it all the time. If it closes below that third bar back, it'll flip it. How would you make the stop to break even after hitting your first three contracts? Um, how, let's see, how would you make the stop to break even after hitting your first three contracts? Well, you can do about anything you want with, uh, with Object Trader. One thing I'd be careful of, You know, with, with the power meter to begin with, most of the time what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to actually have it go with, uh, you know, the mid-band type trades, the rollover type trades. If, you know, for instance, if you didn't even go long down here, which it did, but what if you just took this short here, this short here, this short here, this short through here, and then this actually flipped a short also, but it may not work. We're going to find out. Four contracts equivalent to having 20,000 in your account. Uh, yeah, roughly. I, I'd, well, yeah, you'd, you'd want probably a, about that, I would think, in your account. Now, notice all I'm doing is just simply letting it do its thing. That stops way up out of the way. I, I don't care about that stop. I'm actually letting it flip. Just when you think you're making all kinds of money, what does the market do to you? They pull back. Just like this. They pull back. They make you earn your money, don't they? Is this going to flip again? We're going to find out. Nope. 
did not flip. So letting it flip around would circumvent a stop loss. Well, keep in mind though, Lee, you'd want to watch it, you know, obviously, uh, if you had candles go straight down and there's no zigzagging, you got to really watch PM because power meter is lightning. It's designed to see the lightning in real time. Okay. And the, the lightning swings, if, if they're just, there's no swings, for instance, if you've just got bars straight down or straight up, there's no lightning. Okay, that's real important. Is it going to flip? We're going to find out. Not yet. It might. One thing about it, if it flips and then it flips again, the beauty of it is that it'll catch it. See how lightning didn't change? That, if that bar would have closed, it would have flipped it. So that would have been a bad trade. Not too shabby. Okay, and just remember, you know, you've got the auto mode and you've got the manual mode and you'll be able to trade it either way, okay? Now, one thing I'd highly recommend would be to, to get used to how you like to trade it, you know, because it's easy to watch a chart and, you know, see that's good P&L, right? But that could also, you know, have some drawdown first, right? Obviously, any trade you get into, you got down, you got drawdown the second you get in any trade. going to flip. Not yet. And that's a little late on the flip, but we'll let it do it. Everybody see why it did it there? Didn't get a higher low here. Anyway, not too shabby, huh? What do you think? Do you think you could use something like this on your charts? That's a choppy, choppy, choppy day. And yet, every time that thing flipped, it took, it took the trade. Now, will it sometimes get you, you know, more than likely where you're going to get, uh, you got to really be careful, you know, with uh, a stair-stepping type trader because it's got a stair-step. Get our target out of the way. Anybody know where it would flip right now if it happened to take it out? Right under there. Yeah, basically right at predictor. That's a good little trade, isn't it? Yeah, we've got about 17 more minutes. Uh, this is getting close to 10 o'clock in the morning. You know, about, uh, no, it's only 9 o'clock. It's 9 o'clock by the timer. Let's see what it does. Now, one thing I find out that it does really, really well at these trades is when it does this type of stuff, where it thrusts down, you get, you get these nice moves up, you get this rollover, you got a rollover. You know, each one of those trades did a little bit of money. You know, but notice that it flipped it pretty quickly too, you know, the moment it saw it. Let's see, don't let GS know. Oh, yeah, yeah, Goldman Sachs. Goldman. We drew down a little bit on that one just then because that looks like that might not be the trend change we think it is, is it? We'll find out. It's a short power meter, so I'll just trust it. I've been trusting it all day, so let's see what it does. little double top.
Look at there, got a target. Let's see, Mindy, on your question in your testing, is the 20 tick stop. The stop, the reason I put it at 20 is because I don't even want it in the way at all. I'm not using the stop. I'm using the flip. We may get another flip here. We're going to find out. Not yet, though. Yeah, I don't like that flip at all. That was too high. But we said we'd let it do its thing, so let's let it do its thing. See if it draws down in at all. And by the way, you can also turn on your uh, max drawdown and everything, like the percentage if you want. That way if you do get to like 15 or 16 and you don't want to give it back up, you can actually tell it what you want it to stay at. We may be all right anyway. We'll find out. Five and seven and nine good targets in your testing. Well, actually, I, I've been doing more five, seven, and seven. I just did the five, seven, and nine for the webinar just to see if it would work. Can you use the exit on close in case you lose internet? Oh, yes, absolutely. Yeah, and you don't want to accidentally lose your internet either because that could be deadly. Wow. That's not a short I would have taken. Power meter says it might work, though. We'll find out. That's not a short I would have taken. Anybody else see that short as one they'd take? I, I probably wouldn't take a short like that when it's sideways like this. But let's just see what it does. We're drawing down a little bit. Will the auto continue to run if you lose internet? No. If you lost internet, you wouldn't have any chart movement. See, this is actually looking at our display, the power meter to take these trades. It, it actually, it just literally sees that power meter go red and go green. And it watches these lightning swings. Is drawdown per trade, John? Um, well, drawdown, of course, you notice, let, let's just pause it again just a second. Let's see what we're at. We've had a few extra trades here. Let's see what our percentage is. Okay, we did 89.09%, 92 on longs, and 86 on shorts. We have a total of 55 trades, though, but that's basically at four contracts is like, uh, what would that be, 13? Because we haven't gotten our targets on these yet. So, you know, your commission alone on this would probably be uh, if you're one of the good ninja that's around three something, you'd be $165 or so on commission. So that's still not a bad uh, morning, though, wouldn't you say? And that was probably about the choppiest morning that I've personally seen in quite a while. Now, I've, I've run this literally on an all-day long type deal, and I've seen it you know, go up real nicely and draw back some, but, you know, it seems to close out pretty nicely. Uh, let's see, please set the account performance to look at NQ only. Oh, okay, yeah, let's do that. Just a second. I do have it looking at NQ only. It's not, it's not looking at uh, 6J. If we looked at 6J, I'll show that to you real quick. Here, here we go. This is with 6J. 
you'd be at 66 total trades, 87.88% pro profitable. Now, that's probably as good as any trader can get, I would think. So y'all saw it in, in real time. You know, will it work on a day-to-day -day basis? Well, we'll find out, but I can tell you this, that stairs go down, stairs go up, stairs go down, stairs go up, stairs go down, stairs go up. They're constantly doing that. And they about drive you to drink. You know, I'm not a drinking man, but I'll tell you what. Sometimes when you see this garbage right here, you know, for a solid, you know, however long it takes, you know, it, it's just, it's mind numbing. And yet this little trader made some money. What you like is the ability to make money and chop. I think it will, uh, actually, Lee. Now, I'm not going to make promises on it because we're all going to have to test it and everything. But, you know, I simply put this on long enabled, short enabled, and reverse enabled. And this is what it did. And this is about 9.50-ish, something like that, I guess it is by now. Uh, 9, 920. Uh, yeah, nine nine ten actually is all it is, and uh, well, we got about nine more minutes. I mean, I'll let it run if you want to. You want to see what it'll do? Did you see identical results in the room today? Uh, you mean on uh, when I was running it in the room? Yeah, actually on this right here. As a matter of fact, you know this was at um, the open right here, eight thirty. That did a nice little trade, a little pop long, did another little trade here. You know, was it real profitable? In this chop right here, if I remember right, it was up about $260. And that's not too shabby com considering that that was nothing but junk. So let's, let's run it some more and just see what it'll do. I'll run it a little faster even. Hopefully it won't throw Object Trader off the charts. We'll just see what it'll do. Long again. Got to get our runner out of the way. Whoa. Got to keep the runner out of the way. Now, that wasn't exactly the best spot to get in that, but it worked, didn't it? Is it going to flip again? No, not yet. Will it flip again? Maybe. Everybody see where it would flip if it if it actually does? It wicked the little swing so it doesn't look like it's going to flip it. See there? Yeah, it may still. We're going to find out. Flipped it there. Is that a good one? We'll find out. I don't know. Flipped again. Now this is where you can stack up some commissions. Everybody realizes that, right? Because this looks like it's pretty on, pretty on the choppy side again right here. Doesn't it? We'll find out what it does. Flipped again. That's drawing us down a little bit. Let's see what it does. Well, back up again. <laughs> like a yo-yo. These markets are like yo-yos. They actually make you almost want to pull your hair out, don't they? We'll find out if that's going to go up or if we're going to flip again. I hope this wasn't like a boring webinar at all because, you know, I didn't teach a lot of strategies and things like that. It's just simply, uh, you know, kind of what's going on with the little trader. Now, this is one of those things right here where you think, hmm, should we have flipped here? Well, if it's not the right spot to flip, it'll flip it back again right across there. 
on a closed bar. This is fun and exciting webinar for sure. Okay. Well, there there went your flip again. We did we drew down about 300 though. Now this is after hours right now. Let's see what it does real quick. We still got five more minutes. Looky there. It's a little scary in that it then it challenges conventional practice. Well, Lee, yeah, the one thing on that though, keep in mind that a person could always do, and and I would recommend doing this also when you got a green background. Green midband or blue, look for longs only. You'd only take this straight here. You'd never take these shorts. Okay? But I'm just trying to show if it will actually still make money. Because I don't know how many times I've been in a trade and, and you think, wow, look at this. It's blowing through my target. And then all of a sudden it pulls back and you think, well, I'll go ahead and hold here. Look at that. That's not a bad little trade. Everybody know not to take your targets. If you turn blue like that, don't let that target drop. You'll put it in a different uh, panel. Everybody knows that, right? Just like you can put stealth in, you know, or any of them in a different panel. You just got to click on them and drag them. I don't think you can drag stealth. Yeah, you can. See, like that. If I drag stealth down there, see, that's stealth down there now. So you want to be careful if you ever move a target or something like that. This could be a future option to add, take trades in the direction of the mid-band. Well, that's already part of my idea. As a matter of fact, Mark, I, liked your, I like your idea there because uh, what I was doing uh, was talking to my programmer over the weekend, and he's going to be doing just that to where, you know, even if we go into auto mode to give an example, we might want to go ahead and just, uh, you know, basically get... Uh, Oh, like, like let's say, for instance, if uh, the background's green and the mid-band's green, you, you might not want to take short. See, like, we're short right now. Is that going to work? I don't know. But the PM meter said to take it, so I took it. Will it work? Well, we'll find out. How about that? Will it flip again? We'll find out. Not yet. What if you take it with less contracts? Well, you could definitely do that too, Mindy, obviously. What, what I'd recommend, though, uh, probably, you know, you, you almost need a runner so that you can flip. You see what I mean? Because if you, if you hit your targets, you can't flip. That's, that's the whole beauty of using this to actually flip the trade, is that it's actually... Uh, you know, got a target that's out of the way so it can flip it. Because let's say, for instance, that I just click close right now. Well, then it's already short on the power meter, so it's not going to take another short. You see what I mean? But it would take this long if it happens to pop above this swing right here. Okay. Well, that ran that from 2 o'clock in the morning until uh, about 11 12 and it's almost time for the webinar to be over with so I'll pause this we ran it from basically all the way over here right up in here wasn't it nope it was back here it was back here wasn't it yeah we ran it back in here no we ran it right here that's where we ran it because it was after 2 6 it started because I wanted to run it like it was a day. Yeah, there we go. So we ran that from here all the way to here. And we got right at 1680. Let's see our total trades real quick. Bear with me a second. I'll get rid of 6J. Okay. For a full day of running it, we had 77 trades. That's quite a bit. Okay, so 
77, now that's 77 contracts, that's not 77 trades. Uh, so we have a uh, total of uh, 39 and 38, about the same, isn't it? It's almost like they just flip and go the other way, flip and go the other way. Longs and shorts, the same amount of trades. 89% on longs, 81% on shorts, 85.71%, 66 winning trades, 11 losing trades. Four losing trades long, seven losing trades short. That's not a bad average, by the way. Okay. And, of course, once you get this, you know, play with it in sim and just see what you think because, you know, I've done this and, and I've seen where these things just flip and flip and flip. And you'd be surprised just getting a few ticks here and there and letting runners and then do the flipping work quite well. Can you put it on currency so we can see the average trade amount per contract? Um, well, this doesn't do, oh, you mean on uh, on this little deal right here? I, I'm, you know, I'm not as familiar with that. How, how do I do that? Mode at the top. Uh, let's see. Executions. Click percent. Oh, right here. Like click uh, currency is what you're saying. Okay. So looks like we had a total drawdown of 1135. Max drawdown was 445. And average winning trade uh, looks like about $40. So we got a total of what 1680, and if this was at say, well, let's just round it at 350, that'd be roughly, well, even round it at four, that'd be 300 dollars worth of trade. So that's still about 1300 dollars. Not too shabby. Okay, like I said, all I wanted to do was show this tonight and just see, and I was taking a chance with it because truthfully, I I played them for days in a row. And uh, it seems to trade in about that average. So we'll get it ready to go out. It seems to be, you know, working the way it's designed. And uh, one thing I would mention would be very, very careful because in auto mode, you know, you're talking about real contracts and real money. So obviously you want to watch your coin. But, you know, some people don't let a trade run. Did you notice some of those trades actually went against you a little bit and then they just pounded it down? That's the way they do. Let's see, how we'll be using this in the... Well, in the room, uh, Lee, more than likely, just as soon as I get everything done to it that I want done, you know, uh, Object Trader, I've also got some Ray Trades that are being worked out and my program is also working on this. Uh, you know, I haven't even tried it. On this but let's just look just real quick and then we'll wrap this was rose colored so shorts only all right so let's look at this a long trade probably would have worked uh, looks like a long trade right here would have worked long trade here would have worked a long trade here definitely worked that one never fired because it didn't take out the swing with a closed bar this one did right here because it took it out with that bar so, yeah, I mean, just doing it on the long side alone, you would have gotten trades too. So, see, we shorted in here, keep in mind, by having that on reverse. But if you just simply went for the mid-band and watch for these trades, watch for this trade, watch for this trade, you'll be surprised how well it might do. Oh, let's see, guess not, as it may be contradictory to know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because we want to still go with our approach in the room and everything. Uh, you know, with calling the trades, setups, and all that. And Pervez, on your question, I haven't personally tested it with less. All I would say would be this. You want probably at least a couple of quick scalps and a runner. Okay? Because five ticks is pretty easy to get on little breaks. Ten ticks is a little more difficult to get. Seven is pretty easily. So, you know, for instance, if you ran this on, say, 5, 7, and, you know, 20, and did three contracts, it would probably work quite well, too. 
the main thing, like I said, is have the runner so that when you have a runner, you're watching for the opportunity to flip it also. Because if I was to close this out, we don't have a trade until it actually goes long. Okay. Let's see. Lee says, I like the 5, 7, and 9. There might be slippage. There, very possibly. You know, that that's one thing about it. I know when I ran it this morning, this was when I mentioned in the room it was up about 265 in this junk right here. And I'm glad he got it finished up so we can actually use it. Be sure if you're in auto mode to realize that this is still going to trade until you do this. Turn this off. Turn those off. It won't take another trade. Okay? We'll see everybody in the room in the morning. Thanks for coming. Hope you enjoyed it. Good night.